Bob Stein commented and asked this. Creating an exact color, for example a special color for a car. Super easy to do Bob, let's do it today. Hi there, this is Unmesh and welcome to another episode of Ask Pix. So here we are not in Photoshop but in brandcolors.net. If you're looking for the color palette of any particular brand, this is the place to go. Here you'll find the color palette of every big brand imaginable. It has Adobe, 500px, a lot of brands, Lloyds, McDonald's, have a look. So let's look at Adobe. So Adobe has this blue color. Suppose we want this exact blue color in our car. In Photoshop, of course, not in painting. Here's how to do it. So click on Adobe. It will show you the hex code. So as you can see, the hex code is 00A4E4. Just remember that. And let's move on to Photoshop. So this is Photoshop. I'm going to import the photo using the Pexels Photoshop plugin. So this is the photo. Just click on that and it will download the image. There we go. Now this car has a color red. Now we need this car to change its color from red to which color? So let's go ahead and check what the hex code was. So there we are with the hex code. It was 00A4E4. Let's move back to Photoshop. Create a shape. Click on the rectangle tool, create a rectangle and click on fill and click on this button. There you can choose the color that you want, exactly the color. So what was the hex code? 00A4E4, right? This was the color click OK. We don't want no stroke, so make sure stroke is cancelled right there. And this is the color which we want to transform this car's color to. Now we need to sample this car's color. So find out an even place where there's no reflection, nothing, where the true color of the car shows up. So in this car, as you can see, this area, have a look at this area. In this area, we have flat color of the car. So we need to sample the color of the car from this area. And to be double sure to have an accurate sampling of the color, how about averaging this? So select any selection tool, maybe the lasso tool, select the car layer, just zoom it a little bit and just select this area. And press control command J. Now this puts this area into its own layer. Now we need to average this. How to average this? Press and hold alter option and click on this again to bring back every other layer. So hold controller command and click on this. This makes a selection of this area. Now go to filter, blur, average. Okay, now we have an average of this. All we wanted this is just for sampling purposes. So create another rectangle, click on this rectangle, create another rectangle. Okay, turn the car layer off for a second and fill. Click on it, click on this and then sample this area. Make sure point sample is selected from here. Point sample this one and sample this color, click OK. Now just let's close it, have a look. We have both the samples. Now we can delete this layer one and there we are. So our job is to change this red color to this color. So in order to exactly match, here's what you need to do. Click on any one of these rectangles and bring them closer to one another, just like they are touching each other. Maybe just like that. Okay, so that when they match, this line goes away. Now create a hue saturation adjustment layer. Okay, now we need to make a selection of this red color as we did in the previous tutorial about removing stains, remember? So click on this hand icon, just sample this area or maybe this area. There we go and it makes a selection. Take the slider of the hue all the way to the left, then make this narrower and move it. Holding the middle, move it. So much so that it selects the car at its best. So at this point, it selects most of the car, not all of it, most of it. Now, gradually just drag the slider, the inner one, of the right to the right, just like that. And stop just when it selects the whole of the car, this extra area. And if you go beyond that, as you can see, the road is also selected. So you need to stop just at the point where the car is selected. This is okay. 
Now, what does the outer slider do? Think of this as fuzziness. I've already talked about this. It controls the transition between the area that is selected and the area that is not selected. Just like feathering, the more the gap, have a look, the more the gap between the right slider and the right fuzziness slider, the softer the selection would be, okay? So, just like that, we need to have it a little soft and do it same with the left. Move it to the left, just stop when the whole of the car is selected, okay? Give it a little fuzziness and that's pretty good. Now all you have to do, play with these three sliders, hue, saturation and lightness till this matches with this rectangle. So let's zoom, don't look at the car, just look at the rectangle right now. But as we zoomed in the car, have a look, there are certain areas which are left out. So we might have to go a little further here just like that and it's looking okay and it did select a little extra we didn't want that it did select a little extra we can always mask that out but let's select a little less anyway and we can always edit this later why because this is non-destructive for now let's concentrate on the rectangle a hue so i think this hue matches the most See, it perfectly matched, perfectly matched. Now, sometimes you might have to deal with saturation and stuff, but in this, you didn't have to do anything. I think the saturation of zero is fine. You didn't even have to change the lightness, but in some cases you might have to. Now this completely matched. Now this car has the exact color of Adobe's blue. Now you can turn off the rectangles if you want and create a mask. Select the mask of this and press controller command I. Or you can take the brush and you can paint the extra areas with black. See the road areas, you can paint this with black or what you can do, you can just click on the mask. We went back, click on the mask, press controller command I and paint back in the car. Okay. You can take your time here, you can do it properly. And that's pretty much it. So I spend a little more time and this is the final result. Before we wrap up, I just wanted to share something with you and this is kind of a secret that we tutors use. And the secret is this, in order to master Photoshop, all you have to do, you have to master the tools. Do not learn the answer that two plus two is four, instead master addition. So that no matter what number is thrown at you, you're always ready with the answer. You know the process, you know the tools, you know how to do it, so you always have the answer. If you know the tool, you can do a thousand things with it. And this is something we tutors take advantage of. For example, take the hue saturation adjustment layer. By now I have created three tutorials on that. Maybe how to color correct skin, how to remove reds from the skin, and even how to remove stains. All you have to do, remember the tools. Don't go looking for how to do this, how to do that. Don't go looking for a thousand specific things how to do in Photoshop. Just know the tool and you'll know thousand more things to do by yourself. So just remember, hue saturation layer, have a good selection and manipulate that. And that's pretty much it. Super easy. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss anything. Any other future tips, tricks, tutorials and secrets like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. No, no, no.